A scam is different. It is an illegal attempt to gain money from people under false pretenses. And I think we have to be incredibly careful not to conflate these terms casually, partially because it casts a shadow over companies acting perfectly legally with no intention to mislead, um, but partially because I think it gives credence to the idea that all addressed mail is therefore honest, when sadly we know that many of the more sophisticated scam operations are perfectly capable of obtaining people's data and using it. And I wouldn't want people to have this false sense of security security and believe that an addressed piece of mail franked by the Royal Mail is more trustworthy inherently than an unaddressed one because it simply isn't the case. Um, our amendment today does focus on the impact of scams on vulnerable people such as the elderly and it is an incredibly important issue. The consequences for Welsh um, citizens um, who are victimised is very severe. The average financial loss according to Age Cymru is £1,200 and we know that in some cases sadly it is hugely more than that and it does have a particular impact on the elderly who may not have online access um, in order to check the legitimacy of some of these communications or may not know who to turn to for help. Our amendment today, we wanted to take a, a practical look at what we could do to, to cut down on the number of scams. So we've called on the Welsh Government to review the process for establishing no cold calling zones, which aim to tackle doorstep crime incidents by specifying a zone in which doorstep callers are not welcome. Um, so the scheme is remarkably and commendably cheap and efficient, but there is a big variation in terms of the numbers of properties uh, protected by zones across Wales. So for example, there are 7,000 homes covered in Monmouthshire, uh, more than 2,000 homes in Caerphilly, uh, but just 184 homes in Newport, and this is a cause for concern for me. Um, one reason for this variation may well be the process required for setting up these no cold calling zones, um, and Age Cymru are leading a campaign on this issue to try and help uh, simplify it, because they believe that if there were less demanding criteria, it would lead to the creation of more zones. And it would also make life better for reputable local traders who'd benefit from um, a reduction in the amount of work that was being taken off them by rogue traders offering lower prices because they weren't complying with the legal obligations of the work that they were doing. So we do urge the Welsh Government to review this process um, and look to ways in which we can establish more no-call more no calling zones.